Good day and welcome to Nico TV. It's a new day to learn for your future in return. I am Nico and I am very enthusiastic to bring you today's lesson. Make yourselves comfortable. Think about things, let your emotions open up and your thoughts wander as we explore technology for teaching and learning one. Modernization is a phenomenon and has brought in the discussion of information and communication technology. There will be a struggle for those who lack sufficient resources or unable of contributing. For those who are separated, isolated, or even the powerless. Because it is crucial to establish policies for the use of information and communication technology, it is also critical to use ICT itself. The use of networks has destroyed boundaries, created opportunities, and created a space for collaboration. Global issues include these two key aspects of ICT policy which are access and civil liberties. Second, remember civic freedoms, which include civil rights and personal liberty. Living in a country like this where freedom of speech, privacy, communication, and intellectual property rights are all protected would be like living in a bliss. Internet and ICT accessibility, access means that everyone can utilize the internet and the other media. Most people in wealthy nations have a fast internet connection, while many nations still struggle with internet access. The first issue is freedom of expression and censorship. The agreement on the elimination of all forms of racial discrimination guarantees all people's right to free speech. However, modern communication is no longer confined to written communication, such as letters and mail. Individuals now communicate through email and the internet. A renewed interest in how electronic media and networking affect the people's perception of freedom of expression and limitations. Everyone has the right to free thinking, conscience, and religion, as well as free speech. Despite this, internet users sometimes break these guidelines. Some examples include giving some private data to access to electronic networks, such as Facebook. Facebook ensures the safety of data gathered and promotes safety, integrity, and security. Censorship stops or significantly delays data transmission. In comparison, filtering shifts of data packets or messages as they traverse computer networks, eliminating those considered as undesirable. The next issue is privacy and security. Privacy policy we think are critical. Almost all e-commerce websites contain a privacy statement. In other words, when others use a site and consent to it, it seems as if that individual has provided private information to any company that may get access to it. Instances when privacy and security are applied are when personal data or confidential information, such as bank account and reference numbers, address and telephone numbers, as well as photos. Technology that can store and analyze huge amount of data about many individuals rapidly becomes important in terms of information privacy. Personal information should only be used for the reasons for which it was acquired and should never be stored or shared with other groups without the permission of the people involved. The third issue is surveillance and data retention. The widespread usage of electronic communications has facilitated the growth of indirect surveillance. But with indirect surveillance, proof of actions may be discovered. Data valiance is a new and powerful kind of indirect surveillance. The collecting and using of information from communication networks are known as data retention. 
There is little that can be done to evade monitoring in the majority of cases. By developing innovative approach to functioning, you should make surveillance more difficult. Occasionally referred to as counter surveillance or information security. Information-based security is often referred to as counter surveillance. Finally, the fourth issue is e-pollutants from e-waste. ICT creates a large amount of e-waste, PCs, laptops, mass media and broadcasts, as well as televisions and radio sets, all transmit data over the lines of communication channels such as mobile phones, printers, scanners. Rapid technological advancements as a consequence of better software are to blame for the rise of e-waste. Waste generated by different pieces of equipment requires meticulous management to avoid contaminating the environment. Both industrialized and developing nations are seeing an increase in the amount of e-waste. A particularly depressing set of circumstances is that a substantial quality of digital waste has been transported from industrialized nations to underdeveloped countries through less ecologically acceptable methods. ICT for teachers and teaching includes techniques of instruction that make the use of information and communication technology to aid, enhance, and maximize the transfer of information. ICT may contribute to the development of a more positive learning environment and more effective teaching methods, both of which have been seen to expand globally. For teachers and teaching, teachers must be oriented on how to execute and integrate ICT in their classes. This should be an apparatus or assistance to teachers, not replacing them. ICT will just be a medium of instruction. The usage of ICT by educators may put their privacy and security at risk, which is why it's important to have limitations on ICT. And finally, the enthusiasm for using ICT can boost learning experiences in classroom. For learners and learning, in some ways, students in the 21st century are far more sophisticated than certain educators of the previous generation. Although students might need instruction on the proper use and management of technology, students should be aware of the benefits and drawbacks of using technology. When it comes to using technology, students should be aware of both of the advantages and the dangers that come along with it. There are numerous opportunities for 21st century students to benefit from educational aid. They can obtain like developing higher order thinking abilities, collaborating to build collaborative learning, and gaining the necessary skills for managing authentic materials. Teachers and students alike should be concerned about the amount of e-waste that they generate and dispose of. When it comes to ICT, there are safety issues to the use of it. It's hard to say what will happen next. Despite the many advantages of classroom instruction, some drawbacks harm students. As a result, Teachers must know how to protect students, not just in the school environment, in which has an impact to the students' precious time, but also in their homes or places where digital devices such as internet cafes are available. Students' safety are the number one priority and concern of families, educators, and educational institutions alike. When it comes to digital technology, there are too many dangers to be on the lookout for, such as access to explicit content, such as pornography or violence, including trauma and abuse linked to discrimination, cyberbullying in all its manifestations, including the receiving of sexually explicit pictures or communications, addiction to gambling and gaming, 
force, networking, and extortion, and many others to mention. ICT is sometimes misused or wrongly applied by the students, and the usual misuse would be plagiarism. We're not citing a source when they use someone else's work in an assignment, using the internet to get information that isn't related to their study, and even inappropriate use of smartphones to capture videos or images. E-safety rules are guiding principles for students and everyone must be thought about the positive and the negative effects of utilizing technology and social etiquette in real life is ingrained into our social life. Although etiquette in technology, colloquially referred as netiquette, is a fairly recent concept that must be applied. The main purpose of this is that it supports the protection of youth in the online world. E-safety promotes good use of emerging innovations and understanding them teaches the students about the dangers and the advantages of internet so that they are comfortable using it. And a focus on e-safety helps students, both in and out of the classroom, establish more responsible online habits. Technology trend awareness as a skill refers to being mindful of the technology that is becoming popular and is rapidly accepted in education. It also encompasses one's ability to recognize and understand the usefulness of any such technology for success. The advanced use of technology is based on making it fit in so that you don't even notice it so it's a part of everyday life. By Bill Gates. Once again, this is Nikolai Muldong leaving you with lessons and daily reminders Always be you, for we were intended to be unique. Bye!